But Google is now dominating the AI game and they're giving it to you completely free, completely open source, and this is exactly how to use it. For YouTube creators who are just starting their YouTube journey, the challenge is not only to create compelling content, but to stand out in a sea of established channels. You can do that with Google AI Studio and it's the most underrated platform because people know about it, but they don't know how to extract the value out of it because it is so, so helpful but people really don't know how to use it so I'm going to tell you exactly how to use it in today's video. For the live streaming capabilities, I'm going to be giving you an in-depth guide and especially how it can help YouTube creators like you. Live streaming features are only pro when it comes to ChatGPT, other AI models. teach you how to do anything with um, no coding. It could be for editing, it could be for doing a whole YouTube channel audit. For other platforms, they're literally having you to pay money to get those audits but this basically this entire Google AI Studio bi-directional live streaming agent allows you to do all of that for completely free. It's the only open source, actually good live stream model that I've ever seen. You need to use these two prompts, okay? This is the first prompt. This is for commentary. If you want to do a gaming channel and you want to have commentary on top of it, this is the prompt you need to use for the whole channel audit I talked about. This is the, sh uh, the prompt that you need to use, okay? You use this entire prompt. I'll be putting them in the, in the link in the description so you'll be able to access all of these prompts just copy and paste them into your own agent and this way you will have to work hard to make a prompt it will already be there for you now let's get straight into how you can actually use this to so use Google AI um, live streaming you need to be actually using features that make you stop feeling lost when you're looking at YouTube videos. You can literally have an assistant that listens to the entire thing, analyzes the video and the audio, and then after that it tells you key moments from that video and it also tells you how you can use that video to the best of your ability. You can give it the transcript, you can tell it, can you explain this to me and how I can actually use this particular tool? It can give you all of these things. It can be an assistant for you. It can give you instant expert commentary on absolutely anything. It can be a real-time content creation and scripting expert. It can give you instant technical Q&A and bugging um, and it's also very efficient for multitasking. I, I, will, I wanted to share with you guys another thing. I actually have an Instagram. It's called the Alina Lab. You can send me a DM and also I post a lot of different content on that so um, I think you guys would also enjoy that. Now let's get straight into it. This is what the Google AI Studio interface actually looks like. We can see that it's pretty pretty it looks pretty basic when you look at it but there's actually a lot of things inside of this as what I'm saying right now, okay? So to be able to use this, we have to put this model first and then we have to keep the temperature. Everything needs to be the same. Just turn on grounding with Google search and URL context. Now let's start with the first prompt that we're going to be using, which is going to be the live streaming feature. How do you get to the live streaming? You go to the corner, you press the stream button and you can start streaming. Then you press system instructions and you put custom instructions so that it only adheres to what you want it to do. Similar in HashTagGPT, we have a personalization feature. This is kind of like that as well. So we have this prompt that we have, the first one that we have. You can choose to talk to it. You can choose the webcam. You can choose to share the screen. So many different options and they also have a voice options so many different voices people are literally using this to create their own like um, agents for their businesses that they have with literal calling agents and so now who knows if it's a real person when you order pizza to the nearest Domino's it could be a bi-directional live streaming agent now let's go on and actually talk to the Gemini live and try to get this engaging uh, look that we have here so let's share my entire screen with it so it's connecting to the server um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate this because of the fact that my voice is going to overlay at the same time. So I would highly recommend for you to check this out. Link's going to be in the description again. So hello, um, Google AI Studio. I am very excited to talk to you today. All right, folks, buckle up. Wow, okay, so it's giving me very short and also very nice responses. So today what I want to do is I want to do some abstract reasoning problems. Can you help me find the answer to this? But first I need you to analyze this entire thing. So can you analyze it? Connecting to the matrix and we are live. Get ready for some, some serious AI demolition today. We're diving deep into the code. Te Absolutely. We're putting these AI tools through the ringer. Think of it like a digital Thunderdome. Only the winners and the truly innovative survive. We'll expose the fakes, crown the champions, and show you how to turn these cutting edge tools into 
to creative and profitable powerhouses. Okay, so I need you to answer this question for me. Analyze this question and then answer the question. All right, let's crack this visual riddle. It looks like the top row shows the transformation, where the small squares inside the larger box are moving around. We need to apply that same pattern to the bottom row. By analyzing the movement, the correct answer is option C. It follows the same logical shift as the first pair. Um, can you please be more in-depth and tell me exactly why you chose that particular answer? You got it. Look at the first pair of figures. The small squares essentially rotate and rearrange themselves within the larger box. Oh, yeah? Specifically, the pattern shifts positions. Now apply that same <laughs> rotational logical pattern to the set. Right, the okay, so we can tear... C is this is so hard, you guys. I need you guys to give me a break, okay? This is very hard is to record. All, all about pattern recognition. Like cracking a secret code. Observe this... Okay, she's very aggressive and she's a bit too much, so we're just gonna disconnect the stream, okay? This is great. When you're only talking to the laptop and you're not also talking to a camera, okay? It's great, and I know this demo is very hard for me to record, but anyway, you guys, check it out for yourself. If you don't like it, then that makes sense, but I'm, I'm gonna be very honest with you. It works very, very well. The only problem is you need to directly talk to it. Okay, you don't need to have multiple different talking points or you're talking to a camera at the same time as you're talking to this. No, you need to talk directly to it, whatever ta a task that you're doing, immerse yourself into it completely, give it a clear prompt, a clear understanding of what it's trying to do for, in order for it to generate the best possible prompt. You need to have system instructions according to what you want to do, okay? Now let's go on to the second one, which is the audit prompt. So you can see that I just changed the system instructions. Again, this is gonna be the link in the description anyway. So we're gonna share my screen and we're actually going to audit um, one particular YouTube channel, okay? So it's connected to the server. The stream is now live, okay? So now what we're going to be analyzing um, on this channel, I called AI Search. Uh, All right, I'm ready for the YouTube channel audit. Yes, okay. So let's go to this channel. Uh, it's basically a channel where it gives all the best AI news about the O3, open source models, all of these different things. So let's keep, take a look at this entire channel. Just giving it a loading time is very important. So this is what the channel looks like. Can you please analyze this entire channel? Uh, go step by step, okay? So this is the channel. Oh, let's break down this AI search channel. First, the target audience is clear. People interested in AI, machine learning, and the latest AI tools. The content could be binge-worthy for tech enthusiasts or professionals in the field. Now, for hook and retention, the titles are informative, but lacks that spark to immediately grab attention. I'd suggest injecting more curiosity or urgency into the titles, maybe phrasing them as compelling questions or highlighting the most impactful breakthrough. The intros need to get right to the point and immediately demonstrate the value of the video. To Why did you Thumbnails? They're somewhat generic. They need to be more visually striking and clearly convey the video. Um, so it's as we can see, text, it's giving a but... very good response to this entire thing. It's making sure that it's actually telling you every single thing about that particular channel. That's how truly amazing these tools are for live streaming. Be this is how truly amazing these tools are for live streaming because of the fact that they really allow you to have videos that they play. And you can literally scroll through a video and it can literally analyze this entire thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was an in-depth guide please comment down below i want to build a community of like-minded people who love ai who want to start building their own youtube channels who want to start creating new channels and start actually growing and building their personal brand thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment down below some other tips that you have for me and also for yourself and also other people that are in that comment section um i really do want to build a community and i really really appreciate you guys' support always uh and also subscribe for more <laughs>